Hello, I will be showing you how to make your own Cricut designs, specifically on the Cricut Joy. For this, you will need a Cricut Design app on a laptop, tablet, or phone, and these apps here. You will also need these websites. I use this one to convert any pictures to a SVG file, which is what allows the Cricut to cut a file or draw it. Or if you don't want to make one, you can use this website to look for free ones and you can use it for commercial use. If you want to download it, all you have to do is click the button on the right or click the image and it will take you to a download button, which is blue. This is what the blue button looks like. After downloading it, all you have to do is upload it to the Cricut Design by clicking the Upload button. You will then browse for files and let it upload and then it will be here with your other images. Then you just have to size it, pick either if you want a cut file or a draw file by clicking a button on the lower left side. To change the file type, you just have to click the Edit button and it should come up as a cut file. If not, it will probably be a draw file. All you have to do is switch it and fix the settings. No matter what material you're using, you should always put it on matte because it saves you the material. Now I'm going to show you how to make your own unique design using Procreate and uploading it to your Cricut Joy so you can have your own custom design. You can use this for almost anything and it could be any design. You can make detailed designs, but for this example, I'm just going to make a very simple flower and I'm just using a random pen that I found in Procreate and I just made it big so we have the thicker lines. And I'm just, I'm not really, I'm not really going to use this for anything, but just for the purpose of this video, I'm going to make this design and it's completely unique. So and then you got to save it or upload it as a JPEG file to whatever device you're using and save it. Then from there, you will go to this website. You can use other websites, but I just use this one. Make sure it says JPEG to SVG. It has to be an SVG. Once you do that, you select the file, you put it in there, and you click the Convert button, and it should be able to convert for you. If there's issues, then you probably downloaded the file wrong. So just make sure it's JPEG. After you're done doing that, it will convert it for you, then have a download button. After it's done doing that, it will have a little pop-up screen and it's gonna say, do you wish to download this or are you gonna download this? Then you just click download again and it's gonna show a little circle with the arrow at the top and you click it just to make sure it did download. So mine did download, now I'm gonna go to the Cricut Design and I'm gonna select the file and upload it to the Cricut Design software or app, depending on where you are. It's going to ask you to name the file and you can just name it whatever, it doesn't really matter. And it's going to be uploaded to your images or your gallery within the Cricut Design app. So just click the one you're using, the one you uploaded in this case, and you just fix it up. Like I told you, go in the lower left corner if you want to make it a cut or a draw file. And here I'm showing you the differences. If I click draw, this is, what it's, this is exactly what it's going to look like. And then I'm just going to go back to the cut file because I, I'm going to show you guys something that you can do with your scraps so once we're done with the cut well i'm editing the cut file i'm turning it a different color just so i can see on the edit screen now we're going to click make it and we are going to put on mat putting it on mat again saves you your material your it saves you more money and i'll show you guys how and this was too small and i had to go back and edit it and that's very simple all you have to do is pinch and resize After you're done resizing it, all you're going to do is click make it again and then on matte and then just make sure everything's right on the preview screen and you're just going to click continue and it should pop up like this. Then you're going to select and edit your materials. When you're done, you're just going to load in your mat and everything should be done already. Now I'm just loading in my mat and that's it with the computer stuff. Now we're just going to let the Cricut Joy do its stuff. 
Remember when I said putting everything on the mat would save you money and material? So by doing so, the cutting will not start at the very top of your material. Now, because it's on the mat, it's going to start where you put the material. So instead of putting the material without a mat, it would leave like a one inch gap. And then you would have no way to use up that one inch because it needs more than one inch for this project or these series of project projects so here is the flower already cut you can kind of see where it cut and we're just going to peel it off but you're going to peel it off backwards so you won't damage any of your material now we're going to put that aside and because i am not going to be using any tools i will be picking this off like a regular sticker with my fingers which is not ideal but not everybody has these materials for the cricket joy So here we have my custom drawn sticker and because I didn't know that I was gonna make this, like I told you it was completely unique, I'm actually just gonna place it on the back of my sketchbook. And there you have it, a custom and unique sticker that you can make by yourself using Procreate and the website that I told you about that converts the JPEG file to a SVG file, which is what you need to cut stickers on the Cricut Joy. And here's another example. And for the scraps, I'm going to show you guys what you guys can make on the next video. But essentially, you would just cut it and use it as a stencil to put um, paint on your t-shirts and make them custom.